Lockheed Martin on January 10 said it had delivered the first two F-16 Block 70 jets ordered to Slovakia. O.J. Sanchez, vice president and general manager of the integrated fighter group at Lockheed Martin, emphasized the importance of delivering the aircraft. The delivery of the first two F-16 Block 70 jets to Slovakia marks an important starting point in strengthening the country's defense capabilities. We are proud to be part of this effort and are committed to delivering a total of 14 jets to Slovakia, he said. He added that the integration of this proven platform will enable the Slovak Air Force to effectively defend its borders and partner with allies in Europe, NATO and the world. We are committed to our mission to advance 21st century security through cost-effective operations and strategic partnerships, ensuring the safety and prosperity of U.S. allies, he said. The F-16 Block 70 jet is manufactured in Greenville, South Carolina. Currently, the Block 70 production list reaches 135 units. The aircraft are orders from allied countries around the world. Deliveries to Slovakia will continue until 2025. The first group of jets will arrive in Slovakia in mid-2024. Jets undergoing F-16 Block 70 modernization are generally classified as 4++ generation, as they will be subject to hardware and structural upgrades compared to other F-16. The most important step in the Viper modernization will be to replace the current radar system with the APG-83 Active Phased Array AESA, radar produced by Northrop Grumman. With the integration of the APG-83 radar, the situational awareness of F-16 will increase significantly. With the integration of the Link-16 data link system, the Greek Air Force F-16 aircraft will be introduced to modern data link for the first time. With Link-16, Greek F-16 will be able to communicate more effectively with EMB-145H Erie AEW aircraft. In addition, in F-16 Block 70, there will be a 6 inches by 8 inches high-resolution screen, automatic ground collision avoidance system, GCAS, and more technological weapon stations that enable more effective use of the AESA radar and control of pod data. In addition, New ammunition and missile systems, especially AGM-88E, will be integrated into the aircraft. New generation electronic warfare equipment, the IRST pod and new targeting pods will be available for use on the aircraft.